Hello YouTube, this is Vicky Vicky, I'm a new YouTuber. Today I'm gonna be showing you uh, I'm gonna show you a, a review on the game Star Trek Online. Any Star Trek Online fans, I'm gonna be reviewing the Kumari class ship. This is the tactical Kumari class version with the um, with the phaser relay cons which makes these really f big phaser shots. I wouldn't, I'm with my fellow YouTube here called Freaky Freaky. He may be annoying us throughout the video, but ignore him. So this is season eight, the Sphere, and I am a tactical officer on the Federation side. The ship I have currently at the moment is the USS Kumari. It's Andorian Kumari Escort, tactical class. I have it set up with fleet wep with fleet weapons and phaser relay and phaser wing cannons. With quantum torpedoes, I think the ship is a really good ship. As a strong DPS, if equipped correctly, it's a beautiful little ship. Let's go up into space to look at it. So this season eight, the sphere thing is quite a new thing. With everything with the Voth, if you play Star Trek, you would know about it. Loading. <coughs> So this is the USS uh, the Kumari. My USS Kumari. Looks pretty beautiful ship. Nice sleek design. Very nice sleek design as you see with blue weapons. Very if you know from the Star Trek Enterprise episodes. Looks a lot like Shran's ship as well. Hmm. Messed up my consoles. So as we see this is a very good ship. And I'm gonna show you its DPS when I queue when I queue for a uh, infected the conduit alight if you know from the infected space alight it used to be called way better now but then now. Sorry while I set up this was uninspected unexpected. I see after started. So as the um, Kumari escort has thirty two thousand thirty two thousand health, but it can be made more with upgrades if for example with the right consoles. I've gotten my ship HP to um to, to up to forty three, almost forty five actually. But if you put off the even better equipment than mine, which is definitely possible because I don't have the best can get up to a little bit more. Sorry while I re-edit this. Mm -hmm. So we have shoot capacitor, reloading everything before we start. I'm sorry for this, this was not expected, but we all have technical problems these days. Torpedo spread 2, which fires a lot of torpedoes, as I'm going to demonstrate in just a moment. Do all the buffs, and as we see, all the blue weapons. Wing cannons acting nicely. Pretty powerful ship. This is a very good STF, as you know. So now, when I do some real testing, this is not the the best setup, but it will do for this. We have the we have the cube. You see all the nice blue phases look. They look just like the real one. Fire some torpedoes. My setup has set up mostly for DPS. All my weapons for DPS. Whoever that guy is in his carrier, he has quite a bit of DPS for a carrier.
as you see from that example right now. DPS on this ship can be made to be very strong with the right equipment. Now, as you know, in, in this SDF, if you're a Star Trek fan, you need to keep the pretend generous to percent. So this thing has quite a cool ability, which I'm going to show while fighting this fuel generator here. It's called Wind Cannon Overload, which basically, as from the name, overloads your wind cannons. And it merely costs at least 10 damage from something that has quite a lot of health. Two, 646 damage caused more than 10% of its health to be gone. Imagine the power it has. Not right now, because I'm not focusing on also to do this. But this ship can have quite a strong. I'm gonna have to redo all my setting ups later. I'm sorry for this, this is not meant to happen. Far so good. As we see from this cube, this can have a massive damage and it just looks so complete and cool. The current setup I have for it, which is pretty cool DPS, is um, Advanced Fleet and Orion Phaser will do uh, with damage times 3 and accuracy with the Komari Phaser Wing Cannons. And also free quantum torpedoes with with the new season seven Mako adapted to convert and shield, and with the Borg engine, with the new Oblisic subspace rift warp core. So I got the feeder, but trying to show you. But it's basically a pretty cool design. Let me just respawn and then we show you. So it's pretty. Not to be like swing on this but pretty damn good ship. Thank you for watching. Accept more videos and more of your about ships. Don't be as boring as this one. Bye.